All right, guys, I figured I'd come home from work tonight, and it's starting to get a little dark, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I want to share one of my favorite hobbies with you, and it involves something I've talked about a lot on my channel, uh, 22s, 22 caliber guns. Nothing for me is better than getting home from a long day, and even though my my shooting gallery is not nearly as expansive as uh, as Big Daddy Hoffman. Mine's basically just three little metal hangers I picked up at Walmart for like 15 bucks. Big Daddy Hoffman 1911's got it going on. But um, I get out here in the afternoon just to get some trigger time and to clear my mind. I like to shoot some stuff that's not quite so uh, annoying to my neighbors. I don't live in a neighborhood. I've been asked about that a few times. You'll see a couple little buildings and stuff around. Those are either some, my, some of my storage buildings or I do have a fellow behind me that has a couple of little storage buildings too. Uh, but, you know, I don't necessarily live in a neighborhood, but I still, I'd hate to come home from the long days of work and just hear bang, 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 bang. That would drive me nuts because that's what I hear all day at work. So I like to get out here and I shoot a, uh, a low velocity round. The best thing ever made, in my opinion. CB long. Um, if you're not familiar with these, uh, get some you will love it. I've shot these in the basement. I've shot these in the backyard. I love it But the reason I'm making this video it's not something that's new, but we just got it at the store It's called quiet 22 uh, 22 long rifle. They're both rated at 710 feet per second The difference is the CB long is a 29 grain projectile and the quiet 22 is a 40 grain projectile for most people they're gonna say uh, what does that mean? Well, that means these puppies are awesome out of a bolt gun, but a semi-auto, um, probably a no-go. Maybe we're going to have better luck out of this. We've got some loaded up here. First, I'm going to shoot a, a Stinger, a high-velocity 22 round, just so you can hear the difference and, uh, and see if you can tell uh, you know, why I shoot these. But I've got an old trusty Marlin bolt action rifle got this high dollar super you know high end that's uh, like a Leopold or Night Force or or Bushnell I don't know some Chinese crap anyways picked it up for a good price and just this is basically just an old afternoon pull shooter but I'm gonna load my one round of stinger in there and tell me if you notice how loud this is Man, that kind of hurt my ears a little bit. I think I'm going to be a wimp and go back to CBs. Got a little magazine loaded up with some CBs here. See if you can tell the difference in uh, the way it sounds. And ran empty that sure was quiet I've shot a lot of suppressors you've seen videos of me dealing with suppressors it's hard to get a suppressed gun to shoot that quiet the difference is accuracy of course these at 25 yards it's real hard to shoot a real tight group depending on the rifle of course uh, this rifle I picked it up because it was cheap and it shot pretty good but notice how quiet that was let's try I've got an old trusty Winchester semi-auto rifle out of the safe here, one of my favorites. Uh, a super sweetie, the Model 290. Uh, picked this one up at an excellent deal. Um, I've got a couple CBs loaded in there. Let's see if we can notice the problem with CBs in the semi-auto. And right there it is. We can see it didn't fully cycle, so we have to manually operate our charging handle and run it just like a bolt gun. Yep, same thing. Did not cycle. But right behind those two CBs, I have some of that 40 grain quiet 22 long rifle. Let's see if it cycles this little gun. See if we notice a difference. There we go. Yep, had four rounds, as you can see there, cycled just fine. One time it skipped over for some reason, didn't feed. 
but uh had no problem running them uh they shot fairly well first shot i just missed uh it's so dark out here it's hard to see that front sight like i say i'm the best at making excuses but you'll notice there are Shoot one back to back. I'm gonna shoot a CB long first. And then Okay, like I said, I'm gonna shoot a CB long first and then one of those quiet 22s. I'm gonna shoot both of them out of this bolt action rifle. Uh, one thing that's noticeable is the longer the barrel length, the quieter these things usually are. Uh, so let's see if we notice a difference shooting them back to back. Like I said, the first round is that 29 grain CB long. Super quiet. Now let's try that, uh, the uh, quiet 22. Let the motorcycle get up the road first. There we go. All right, quiet 22. Still not loud, but noticeably louder. Uh, for the trade-off and being able to shoot it in a semi-auto gun, it's excellent. Uh, it's well worth a little bit extra noise. Um, but like I said, you know, definitely if you live in the neighborhood, you live inside city limits, obey the law, be safe. But out here in the country, I just don't, like I said, I'd hate to, to you know, annoy any neighbors or anything. And uh, so I got out here and, and shoot the, the quieter caliber or the quieter rounds. Um, I hope we got you some good information. Uh, as always, you know, likes are appreciated, favorite, comments. You know, if you got any questions or anything, hit me down on the bottom. Um, subscribe, definitely uh, subscribe. And go check out my channel. Got a lot of other stuff I've worked on and uh, am open to uh, suggestions. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.